Hater, hater, hoarder. Hello there. My name is Adam. Welcome back to my channel, The Putty Inc. Next up on the project list, my 03 F250 quad cab uh, short box. We're going to build a flatbed for it. The uh, side over there is flapping looser than your aunt after she meets up with a group of her friends from a chat room. Uh, so we're going to build a flatbed from scratch. Uh, then we're going to make some running boards for it. And uh, probably put some strobe lights here and there, some tie downs in the bed, make a goose neck so that we can pull our trailers around. Let's get kicking. Get a set of used fifth wheel rails. Shit will bop. Yeah. 200 bucks, you pick up, no trades. I work out on Tuesdays. Alright, so that's my first time ever using a metal chop saw that's got like the blade that looks like a skill saw blade instead of an abrasive blade. Um, I've been fucking up. That thing's awesome. On to it. Alright, we fast forwarded uh, substantially here. Uh, I had my buddy Skip helping me. That's Skip with a PH. Uh, we were doing some uh, cutting, welding, grinding. You can see we got the back pinch here. We made this little down piece. I think that would be considered our bumper. It's probably not legal. I look forward to hearing about it in the comments. Uh, we got the gooseneck part in there. There's a bunch of gusseting we're going to add to that. I want to overbuild that. Uh, we got the head of grab almost done. We uh, ended up just an inch short. You know, my wife knows what that's like. Uh, on the top of the head of grab, that'll get like a miter cut. And so, you just like one continuous shape. Um, we're going to add some skirting along here. It'll be like a skirt from here to here. This will get filled in. License plate. Two big badass backup lights. Um, but what we're doing next is we're getting ready to lift this thing off with the hoist. Because I, didn't, I only did a couple of spots, spot welding, up in that front corner. That's where the gas tank is. And it won't go boom. Um, so we're going to lift the bed off, pull the truck out, and then we'll finish welding with that corner and everything. And then we can weld the back side of the headache rack. And it'll probably stay there. The metal's supposed to be in tomorrow or whatever for uh, Monday. It's Saturday today. To the top of that. Um, then we're going to have them just shear us some pieces for this instead of trying to cut it out. Uh, once we get that all done, we'll put the deck on. Um, I'm going to try and flip this thing upside down so I can weld everything from the bottom instead of trying to weld up. Uh, so let's get to lifting this thing off. Here we are so far, what we got. Got her all welded up underneath. I had it stood up on both ends, see the dirt on there. Uh, here's the gooseneck, or the fifth wheel ball well that'll be here. I still gotta 
add a couple pieces of channel right along here on each side to square it out so that my decking has something to weld to. You can see plenty of gussets there. Went kind of overkill, I think. Uh, might still do another gusset that goes forward to backwards. If you know what I'm saying, it'll go like this instead of, you know, these all go this way. This one will go this way. It's probably not a bad idea for shear. Um, extra plate, extra spark. There she is. The sheets are four by eight. You know, obviously we'll have to cut them shorter than eight feet, but they will reach from that front bar and then the, the first one will four feet will end right here. So we'll be able to put like just a tiny gap to help fill the weld so we don't have a weld standing up there. It'll have a nice little crevasse, if you will. Um, then the other piece is less than four feet. The cutoff should actually work for filling like that back area maybe or something of that order. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think I noticed, oh, got one weld left to do here. And uh, you can see, so the tops of these, they're welded on the bottom and down the face, down the bottom, everywhere but right here. And that's so that hopefully my sheet will lay level on there. I don't have to screw around with that. I left that the whole way on the tops. Every other part of it got welded except for the very top, even the underside. So should be plenty strong. So get back to it. an underside view of the bed here. I see that's what bolts through for the fuel tank. Those are grade eight, five eighths uh, wash or nuts. They have uh, lock nuts on, or they have lock washes on the back side. The other ones I use lock nuts on. Um, so we got two going there. You can see that, that's the old uh, fifth wheel or gooseneck plate mount. We've worked that into the bed. So it attaches there with a five eighths grade eight. Same with those two, 5 8 grade 8, and then we move to the back. The last place it gets mounted with two more 5 8 grade 8. So we got seven bolts per side holding that sucker on. We got our wiring up in there done. That turned out pretty sweet. Let me grab a light here. Uh, 
All the wiring's up in there. We got it all loomed up, loom clamped out of the way. Everything looking sweet. Everything was done with heat shrink, double heat shrink. There we go up out of the way. And of course, our backup lights, license plate light. We'll come back down this side here. Again, five eighths, grade eight, all the way across. Catching it there. Here's our fuel filler neck. So there's the other mount. Fuel filler neck, we just had to add a piece of tubing in there to each one, and I modified the tube a little bit. Boom. And then I made this little bracket for a clamp to clamp to so that that has a nice sturdy base. So that's the underside view of the fifth. Oh, we can go up here, I guess. We can do the. Here's the bottom side of the fifth wheel plate where everything's attached. See, we're gusseted it in a whole bunch there. And that uh, dropped it down low enough for us to keep it below bed level. Well, that's going to do it for my flatbed build. Uh, it turned out pretty sweet. I like it a lot. We got LED tail lights, LED backup lights. Uh, everything's built out of eighth inch. Um, headache rack, you can see we got the fuel tank on there. Uh, filler neck, tried to fill it with fuel. Works woo sweet. Uh, maybe add mud flaps later, see if I get told to see what the policy on a bumper is but that's what I kind of consider that drop down piece there not the hitch but that other piece would be a bumper if you will uh, it's got the gooseneck ball on the deck there and then the uh, the D rings actually attached to the side of the bed so if the gooseneck ball portion were to fail and fall out the rings would still be attached to the bed so in theory that's it should be mounted essentially to two different places which is safer than having it all on one plate um, we're going to add some lights to the top eventually, um, just not, not today. Uh, so, hope you liked it. Please subscribe, uh, feel free to comment, and uh, check us out on Facebook. See you on the next one.